Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also create parameters in your query criteria that will prompt you to enter a value which can then be used as the query criteria value for the query before returning the result set. This is tremendously helpful as it prevents many hours of editing and changing query criteria. Each query with parameters in the criteria becomes more reusable as each time that the query is run it will prompt the user to input the parameter values used for the query criteria which you can now easily change on the fly when you run the parameterized query. For example, suppose that every day hundreds of donation records were entered into a nonprofit organization's donations database. Let's also suppose that you were responsible for finding all records entered from the previous day and double checking their spelling accuracy and address information. You certainly wouldn't want to have to sort through all of the records in the tables to find the ones that were entered the day prior. Even if you created a query that found the records for the previous day's data entry, without parameters, you would have to open the query and design view each day and then edit the criteria values before running it. Instead, you can create a parameterized query that will prompt you to enter a value for a specified field using this example it would be like an entry date field and then the query will use the value that you enter to find those records that match the value that you entered when you opened the query. Now to create a parameter query construct your query as usual in design view. Then click into the QBE grid underneath the field for which you want to set up a criteria parameter. To enter the parameter, type an open bracket, followed by what you want the parameter prompt to display, and end with a closed bracket. So for example, under a date field, you might type open bracket, please type the date here, close bracket. Then when you run the query, it'll show that parameter prompt and you simply input the date you want to see. Now parameters can also be used in conjunction with the other operators and conditions, like the between and clause. This can be helpful in finding records in a range that you specify when you run the query. In this case, the syntax would be similar to the following. Between, open bracket, type the first date here, close bracket, and open bracket, type the last date here, close bracket. Then when you run the query, it will prompt you for both parameters and then pull the necessary records. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.